craziest bastards I've ever met in my life. I love everyone. What's going on, you crazy bastards? You're back here with Rob Kimball for another WWE Raw review, the fallout of Night of Champions. And we start off the show with the Wyatt family in the ring. The, uh, the Fireflies are strong. It's very well lit. Anyway, they provoke Roman Reigns, basically saying there's no possibility that he could ever, ever come up with any way to take them out. Anyone but you, Reigns. Reigns does come on out because he was provoked, and, uh, well, he wants a fight. He wants a brawl. He wants just a goddamn match with Bray Wyatt only, one-on-one, -on -one. and, uh, well, Bray, he gives it to him. So we get a little back and forth, and you knew where it was going. It's turning into a brawl. The Wyatt family was there. Dean Ambrose comes out to make the save. It's two on three, and finally, what we should have had last night, Randy Orton comes on out, and we get an even three on three. Not a Chris Jericho Y2J, which made no goddamn sense. But I do like Y2J. Um, in the end here, you have Orton, Reigns, and Dean Ambrose sending the Wyatt family packing. They got Braun Strowman down. It took a lot. It took a lot. Now, this is something down the road would be great for a Mark Henry and Big Show. But it is what it is, but that'll be down the road. Anyway, so pretty cool, and they retreat. So Randy Orton, yes, gets a big pop here. Absolutely awesome. Backstage, though, this is great. Kane is living two lives. He's back as director of operations. He has no fucking clue what he did last night. He didn't have the mask on. He didn't attack Rylan. It didn't happen. He don't know what's going on, but Seth Rollins is like, what the fuck? So he's looking for the authority. Anyway, um, he's just happy to be back and books John Cena and Seth Rollins for the United States Champion rematch tonight. And he wanted to make a big old comeback. So then we have the Cosmic Wasteland versus Neville and uh, the Lucha Dragons. And let me tell you what, Kalisto just took over and did all sorts of shit that most of us have never seen. Wow, just created, he, some spots were a little uh, sloppy, but the creativity and the athleticism is undeniable. Awesome shit, picks up the victory, and it was cool. And I like this, just they're continuing on, and it's fun to watch, and I, I'm, I'm intrigued with the whole thing, and I really do like the Stardust character, and I've always liked the Ascension, besides when he first came onto the Raw roster, so, but now, cool. Then we have Ryback versus Bo Dallas. Kevin Owens comes on out to commentary. Awesome, always, always awesome when Kevin Owens is on commentary. Just, he's so witty, quick, and it's it's good. And uh, well, Bo Dallas does get a little good uh, offense going, obviously, because Ryback's distracted because Kevin Owens is there, but then the muscle, the power, destroys Bo Dallas. I guess he believed. <laughs> He does pick up the win, and then Kevin Owens attacks him. In the end, Ryback does get the best of uh, Kevin Owens, sends him packing with his belt, that is. And uh, good stuff, but last night, undeniable, the crowd reactions were for Kevin Owens. So, rightfully so, he's the champ. This is perfect. Then we have Ric Flair coming on out, and it turns into a Focketeer Fest, but it is the celebration for Charlotte that she is now the Divas Champion and because she worked her ass off and it's a proud moment for Ric Flair, the most proudest moment of his life. And uh, well, PCB comes out, Charlotte goes on about how Becky Lynch is so, you know, the way she is and uh, every day you never know when, when it's your last, so live it to the fullest and then she goes on to tell about Paige and that's the reason why she's there because she's following in her footsteps while well, Paige snaps, loses it, shits on everyone and heads on out of there so it looks like we're gonna have a few down the road page versus pretty much everyone and then the Bella team comes on out to rub salt in the wounds and Nikki does say how does it feel now you've got that championship it's a burden although it is a great moment you gotta deal with it so everybody want is coming they're gunning for you 
And then um, uh, Natty got brought up in the whole picture where she they just went off and said a lot of things that most people have been reading on the dirt sheets or, you know, online Twitter, the whole shebang. She laid it all out there. It was pretty cool. Then um, Nikki tells her, Charlotte, that uh, Bree's going to have a match with you tonight. It's you know, same match as last night, pretty much, at Night of Champions, targeted the knee, and then finally the, um, the figure eight prevails and uh, Charlotte gets the victory here awesome so then we move on to Sheamus versus Mark Henry where the fuck's Mark Henry been well anyway Mark Henry is a beast he's taking advantage of Sheamus Sheamus looks like a fool there for a moment but then he misses a bro kick so it turns into two bro kicks to take out Mark Henry because the one like nicked his beard this hook didn't work out, buddy. I yeah, picks up the win here. Mark Henry, goddamn, should have just crushed him, but it didn't happen. And uh, Sheamus, obviously, they're doing, they got something going with Sheamus, and hey, whatever. It is what it is. That new day, <laughs> they come out. Xavier Woods has wood in his ass from the night before from 3D. Why? <laughs> Why'd he say that? They took this chunk of wood from my buttocks wood in your ass Xavier come on you didn't think this <laughs> it's okay it's okay it was fun <laughs> hilarious anyway they have a match <laughs> and then Rusev is on their team against the Dudleys and Dolph Ziggler now obviously you have a ton of fucking shit going on the trombone is the fourth member of the new day and then Summer Rae's ringside it's just shit everywhere finally in the end Rusev nails a super kick to Dolph Ziggler and he picks up the win. No shit. I, yeah. Xavier, get that wood out of your ass. Alright, moving on. Natty is back. And she's got a match against Naomi. And Natty backstage did agree with some of the shit Paige said, but she said, your worst enemy is yourself. So, yeah, probably true. And uh, we move into this match. Uh, you got Team Bad, Ringside, you know what's going on here. Distractions left and right in the end. Rear view, big butt cheeks to Natty's face. She's down and out. And uh, ah, Natty's back to wherever she's going. Hopefully, she gets back in the mix of the Divas deal. Then we have Big Show. Yeah, Big Show versus Cesaro. But this was more of a, a sell for this Brock Lesnar tour the fucking that he's got going on Madison Square Garden his first match is against the Big Show and uh, well Big Show <laughs> reminds us of why he's a giant he looks like a beast Cesaro did get a little bit of offense in here but the weapon of mass destruction took him out and uh, then he uh, continues on about 2002 when he did take out Brock Lesnar and uh, he is a giant this and that and the guy's a monster truck dude yeah, <laughs> a lot of people are just bored of him. I think if they just gave him some new music or something different, it might change things and help you believe that, Jesus, this guy's a fucking, he's a beast, <laughs> really. And it would, it would make it more believable and more enjoyable to deal with him. Change his music, start there, and then something else. I don't know, but Big Show is a monster, and I love Cesaro, but <laughs> Big Show here. Yeah. You don't want to get in the ring with that guy. Holy hell. Then we move on to the main event. Cesaro versus Seth Rollins for the United States Championship. And, uh, yeah, we had some authority stuff backstage with Kane. Kane is just delusional. I don't know what the hell you're talking about. Stephanie McMahon wanted the mask back. He doesn't know what the hell she's talking about, but he's going to be upset if she don't find it. Anyway, this match goes on. Kick-ass match, of course, the night before. Prior kick-ass match. And but same ending, ah, Cena just fucking powers through, hits the AA, the AA to finish Seth Rollins, even though ah, I just, the same thing two nights in a row, but I did like to see Seth Rollins using the STF and then the uh, crossface, that was cool, throw that in there, and then John Cena picks up the victory here with that AA, retains his championship, and then Kane comes through the ring and drags Seth Rollins to his hell. So Hell in a Cell is going to be Kane 
versus Seth Rollins got to be for the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and hopefully Seth Rollins can just finish off the demon that is who knows but yeah it is what it is that is raw in a fucking bunch and I hope you guys comment down here hit the thumbs up and I will catch you guys next time and before that the links are all down below for the t-shirt store, the website, my Amazon link, all that good shit. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace.